Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up an 11 by 17 inch comic book page in Clip Studio Paint. Now I've made two videos on how to create a comic book page. One was using Kablam's dimensions, which I believe was a 10 by 15 inch. And another one was how you can calculate your own custom page. Now, that one involved a lot of mathematics, so I think it kind of put people off. This one, I'm just going to be straightforward. This is 11 by 17 inch, which is the standard uh, U.S. comic book dimensions. I got this dimensions from a website called Blambot. I'll leave a link in the description of that website so that you guys can go check that out. So without wasting too much of your time, uh, if you go into Clip Studio Paint, to create a new project or a new page you come over here to the fourth icon here where it says show all comic book settings and you input these dimensions here oh hold on maybe not those here we go you enter these dimensions here you can pause the video write these down and then unpause it and put those into clip studio paint I think by default this is set to set size, but I go to set margins. So put this on set margins. Make sure you are in inches. And then input this. Hit OK. And there you have it. So that's how you create an 11 by 17 inch comic book page in Clip Studio Paint. So if that's all you wanted to know, you can click off the video. That's all you need. But before you go, let me just make the argument that. In a digital media, you do not need 11 by 17 inches. So why, why would I say that? The reason comic book artists use 11 by 17 inch bristle board is because if a comic book artist were to draw a comic book at the actual size of the comic book, that is very difficult because it's very small. So what comic book artists do is they use either 11 by 17 or a 10 by 15 bristle board and they draw their comic book at that size. Then when they send it to the printer, you can see here when reduced for print, the printer will then reduce it to these sizes here. This is roughly about 68% of the 11 by 17 inches. So when you're working in a physical media with paper and ink, you it would stand to reason to draw it big and then shrink it down. But in a digital media, we have the advantage of zoom. In fact, you can zoom in so tight, you can draw a little man here. And in fact, you can pick a much smaller pin So there's your little man and if you zoom out you can see that is very very small and so this is an 11 by 17 inch and look how small you can draw because of the power of zoom that is one of the advantages of clip studio paint or digital media so what I would recommend is don't even bother with 11 by 17 inches because let's look at this again in this pr in this perspective we were working in inches if you change that to pixels because digital works in pixels you can see that this is 6600 pixels by 10200 pixels that's a lot of pixels and in fact if you were to change it uh, landscape you can see that the height, which is the up and down, 6,600 pixels. Now, your com just for comparison, your computer monitor is, well, most typical computer monitors are 1080p, which means 1,080 pixels. So this is like 6,600 pixels. You're like six times larger than your computer monitor. And how... And 1080p is considered HD. So you're really, really lar much larger than you need to be for digital. Now, 
again, like I said, if I were y working in digital, and I do, I work in these dimensions here. So if you want to set these dimensions into Clip Studio Paint, it would look like this. So you can pause the video, write these dimensions down, and um, yeah, same scenario. So let's do it in pixels. So now you can see that I turned it on its side, landscape. You can see now that the height, the up and down, is only 4,200 pixels. Again, your computer monitor is 1080p. So this is not six times, but more f like four times. So much smaller, much more manageable, especially when you save your files, it won't be that big. And the reason I consider file size is because when I save my files, I'm typically uploading them into Dropbox. And so if you have these large files, it takes forever to upload. So the smaller you can get your files, the better. Again, if we look at the uh, reduced, reduced size, hit OK, you can zoom in just as tight as you did with the just as tight as you did with the uh, 11 by 17 inch and this is not 11 by 17 this is actually 7 by 11 it doesn't matter the canvas size um, as long as you get your these uh, blue uh, trim size and bleed size correct so look look how small you can draw with the power of zoom of digital media so I would make the argument that you don't really need to work in 11 by 17 but again if that's what you wish um, you can go to the start of the video where I showed you those dimensions or you can do what I do and just work in the the actual size of a comic book and use the zoom feature so uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something. And if you got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make Clip Studio uh, tutorial videos like this one. Uh, I got plenty more if you check my channel. And uh, yes, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.